So this is Ari Zagabon Jerry, and today I'm in Ellensburg, Washington. And the one thing I want to show you in this town is a place called Dick and Jane's Spot. It's not a bar, <laughs> it's actually Dick and Jane's personal residence. They're artists, and they have created some amazing artwork all around their house here in just a residential community. So let me show you around Dick and Jane's spot. This is a shot of their house from across the street. And it's also right across the street from the police department. I guess this is supposed to be Dick and Jane and their two kids. And this, I guess, is Grandpa Dick. They have this display set up with some information about it. And here is their website, and that's Jane, and I guess that's Dick. And you will see that three things they like a lot are posts, reflectors, and nails. And there's about a million reflectors here. This guy seems really happy. And like me, this guy seems a bit surprised. <laughs> There's a big bird in the yard. And look at all these reflectors all along the front here. That is quite a collection of reflectors. And they have all sorts of things nailed and screwed to the posts and boards here. This one has a bunch of rusty bottle caps. And there's a lot of wind here, but that windmill is just not doing anything. This lady is called Big Red. I like those big red reflectors on her front there. <laughs> and here's a photographer taking a picture. Got several cameras. Couple more odd characters here. Be nice if they had some water flowing on this trough. This is almost like the Tin Man <laughs> made out of that trash can there. And out front here, they have a postcard vending machine with, I'm not sure what's on it. And then here is the entrance to the home, the gate. It says exit. <laughs> and here it says, you are beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Some more odd characters and things here up above the gate. There are a couple windmills that are working. Wow, look at all those nails and all sorts of things they've got attached. And look at this. All of those nails very uniformly nailed into that post. And this guy... <laughs> Don't know what to say about that. If you need a big hand, there it is. And over here, everybody likes a bear hug. But these seven people, I think maybe got more than they bargained for. <laughs> that looks like a, either an evil bear or a really nice bear. I'm not sure. This guy must be really tough. Got that big bolt through his head. Oh, this is pretty on the wall of their house there. All sorts of things they've got out here. I don't know what this guy is supposed to be. Bam. And this is the side gate. It says 
Are we dreaming yet? <laughs> Either that or having nightmares later on, maybe. Being in a small town, I assume they don't have much trouble with vandalism. Not that I can tell. And this goes into the side yard with a whole lot of posts here. I'm just going to briefly go through and show you, show you these posts that they have all sorts of things attached to them. Oh, wow. Boy, they sure are wild, wild about reflectors here. This is an amazingly windy city. <laughs> There's some big ones. Ooh, what is all this? Got several more posts with <laughs> all those nails and things attached to them here. And on this side wall is some more artwork. In fact, everything on this side wall is totally made with reflectors. Let me give you a close-up of this. All reflectors. How about that? All kinds of metal pieces on these posts. Now we're going into the back and I do not know what these tall things are. Got a bunch of hubcaps on the back of the garage there. I wonder what these things are or were before they were turned into artwork. This is made from bottle caps and reflectors. And here's a really odd version of like a circus man on stilts. At first I thought it was like a version of Uncle Sam, but it's more like a circus act. Nice flowers here. And this is like a chimney, but man, it is just all twisted up. There's other things in their backyard here, but the sign says please do not go into the backyard. They don't mind you walking around the house as long as you stay on this side of the fence. Wow, these are all bottle caps. Is that the exit there? <laughs> And they got some more of these. Interesting. Still don't know what those things were used for originally. There's the stop sign. Here's a wrench, a rusted out wrench, just hanging there. And here is a bottle tree from starting here. Some really nice natural trees too. And look how the wind is blowing. Wow. Here's another bottle tree with blue bottles. And they made this out of bicycle wheels. Got one of them spinning. There are some holes in the fence where you can look into the backyard the holes. There are some more art pieces back there, but I don't want to invade their privacy too much, but they do have these holes <laughs> where you actually can see into the backyard, so they're not trying to hide anything. 
Well, folks, this is probably the most artful home I have seen anywhere that I can remember. So if you're coming through Ellensburg, I bet you'd like to stop by and just walk around the house and see the various art pieces. Look below that window, that kind of thing there. I don't know what all that is. There's a big yellow pencil. Interesting. Good day, folks.